Speaking of things that we haven't seen very often, the Cassius Marsh taunting penalty on Monday night. Now, we have been chiding and deriding the National Football League all year long for having no transparency whatsoever, no mechanism to explain themselves when a controversial call happens. And I guess we finally asked hard enough. Yeah. We finally got it. Don't get your hopes up, though. Here's Perry Fuel reading from a teleprompter, I assume, while defending the decision to penalize Cassius Marsh on Monday night. In Chicago versus Pittsburgh, Bears number 59 is penalized for taunting. He takes several steps toward the Pittsburgh bench, posturing toward their sideline. Taunting is a point of emphasis to promote sportsmanship and respect for opponents. This was recommended by the competition committee and coaches. Okay. That's um, weak sauce right there is what that is. Posturing. He was posturing. Right. I'm going to be you looking for posture. that. You better not posture. You better not posture. right. That's exactly the same conversation. Don't you posture. You're right. Don't. If don't, I see somebody don't. posture this week. Are you posturing? I Are know. you posturing? I know. Are you currently posturing? You better not be posturing. We will have. We shall have no posturing in this establishment. <laughs> I Look. Th- <laughs> If, if, if that's what we're getting, NFL, don't waste your time or our time. I agree there. Do they think we are that stupid? Yes. That's what's astounding to me. They Maybe I am, but I thought I did a better job of covering it up. Right. Maybe I'm doing a very bad job of concealing my stupidity because they think we're dumbasses, Chris, if that's what <laughs> they're going to put in front of us and, and, and have us all say, well, now I understand it. Thank you. We'll stop complaining about that horrendous call. You've changed our mind. It was the best call that's ever been made. Thank you, NFL. I know. For, for causing us to see the light. Yeah. No, I, I, you know, I agree. It, it is. And, you know, posturing, whatever. I'll be watching for that now. You know, because that's a new element to this. I didn't realize posturing was part of this. And again, I'm I, telling you, they think we're stupid or they just don't give a crap. No, there, I, there's no other explanation for it. Yeah. I, and I, if they if they didn't give a crap, they wouldn't have done that video. Right. If they truly don't, they, they clearly care enough to take the time to create the video because previously it was crickets. That was their liaison. That was their method of getting through to the fans who are confused about the bad calls. Nothing. Now we get something. I know. And it's offensive. It's offensive to the average intelligence. And remember what George Carlin said. Think of how dumb the person of average intelligence is and half the people are dumber. It's offensive to all those people that that's the explanation. I'm sorry. They may get mad. They may call somebody and complain about me. I don't care. That's unacceptable because you are presuming that your customers are stupid if you think that is going to solve this problem. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's not going to solve the problem. And, you know, again, I, I think it's – they're opening up a can of worms with that kind of call right there because I'll be looking for it now. I'm going to be looking for it. Like, whoa, posturing. There, there was Any posturing. Po- oh, posturing. Why didn't they call that? That's unfair. It cost the Bears a game, but you're going to let this team get away with it. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't I – don't, I don't, yeah, I'm with you. I don't agree. Nor do I agree that – Really, I know that this is a point of emphasis, and we're going to hide behind that phrase here to the till till the end of time. But you know, again, the, I I don't think this is what like the people on that committee were worried about. This is not what they were thinking about when they started to go. Let's make this a point of emphasis. I've discussed what I think we're talking about here. I won't go there again and make you laugh with my jokes about. You know what? No, is, we don't need any dangling participles. Right. No. Yeah, so, but the, that that's what they're looking for. They want that. You know that they. It's not. That was not what. I, I I can't imagine what Mike Tomlin and Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay and all the other guys that were on the committee to say this is a a thing. I don't think they were worried about the guy looking at the sideline for half a second, thirty yards away. That was not what they were thinking, and that that to me is where where it is wrong and. Um, yeah, I, I don't agree. And it is a bad look by the NFL. It's a, you know, I feel like it's like maybe the th- I, I, third, fourth time here recently where I think the NFL thinks we're all dummies and just tries to, you know, play that card on us. Well, may- maybe Moses misread the stone tablets. Maybe it said there shalt not, thou shalt not posture on there somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm questioning my entire belief system. Not, not that I walk around posturing all day. I'm not even quite sure wh- what it is. Miles Simmons has this thing he does like this when he's trying to, you know, sarcastically make a point. Is that posturing? I guess it is. I guess so. But thou shalt not do it. Thou shalt not do it. 
or you'll be fined, not fined. Well, he's probably going to be fined because, see, now they have to back up the bad call. They have to double down on the bad call so they will fine him. I guarantee you they're going to fine him because they don't fine him. Guys like me and you will say, well, see, they knew it was a bad call or they would have fined him. So, right. sorry, Cassius Marsh, that the because maybe if it hadn't become such a big deal, they wouldn't have, they would have realized probably shouldn't have flagged him. But but is that a way to run any business? Can I just ask that question? Because because people will say to me, why do you hate the NFL? I don't hate the NFL. I love the NFL. I love the NFL, and I want the NFL to be as good as it can be. I wanted to aspire to the vision of it that I developed when I was a little kid hearing John Facenda's voice and seeing the football spiral in slow motion through snowflakes yeah. in an NFL Films production. That's what I want the NFL to be. Right. So anytime I see something that is less than what I think the NFL should aspire to be, I'm going to say so. Right. I'm going to say so. Because there are plenty of things the NFL isn't doing, and I think there's a complacency that sets in when you're, when you're a $20 billion a year industry where you can just do whatever the hell you want. Who cares? Oh, they don't like it? Who cares? They're still going to come to the games. They're still going to watch the games. Oh, they're complaining about that? Who cares? They're still going to be here. I, I, I think that that and, – and really, that's what it is. It's arrogance. Boil it down. It is arrogance at the highest levels of the league that will cause them – to behave the way they do when it comes to issues like this because they they really, at their core, do not care because they know that yeah. – and, and they're right. It's a well We're all going to be there. Right. You th- what, what, are we going to not watch Ravens-Dolphins tonight in protest? Hell no. Absolutely not. I mean, you're right. It's, it's still the best watch on TV is NFL football, you know, for my money. And, of course, you know, the numbers back that up. There's nothing more popular in our country. And Sundays on the NFL during the NFL season, it's as good as it gets. You know, I mean, and yeah, even tonight, I mean, yeah, you're right. We're watching. Here we go. But uh, I, I like that you said that because I think that that's how I look at it, too. I love the NFL. I don't like bring out negatives just to be negative. I bring it out because I'm passionate about it. I love it. You know, I've been around it my whole life. And yeah, I do try to hold them to a standard, but only because of my love for it which is like what you do in a lot of aspects of life. Like, like you said, whether it's, you know, could be your own personal business, you know, you're raising your kids, your wife, what your girlfriend, whatever. I mean, when you start to th- see things go a little wrong or whatever, you got to step in and go, wait, Hey, like, Hey, you know, son, Philip, you know, I love you, but you're not doing as good with your homework. So I got to start being a little bit of a jerk here to get you to be better at your homework. And, and that fixes problems. And I think that's how I look at what we do at times. And it's not because of hate. It's because of love. God forbid that we should want the rules that they have developed to be applied in a way that is reasonable, consistent, and fair. God, what, what? Oh, boy, I almost said a word. Oh, 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 that was close. What buttholes we are to actually want and expect that there will be fairness, that the games will be decided by the skills, abilities, and timely or untimely mistakes made by the participants and not by those responsible for officiating and presiding over the game. How crazy we are to want that and how crazy we are to want the league to understand that as all these new millions and billions eventually will be flowing into the coffers from legalized gambling that they should recognize and embrace their responsibility to ensure the integrity, not just of the outcome of every game, but of every wager that is placed on every game, every prop bet, everything that goes on, because you are directly benefiting from it now more than ever before. And if you don't do it, you're going to have Congress create an agency that does it. And and I've been operating, Chris, under the premise that that's not good for anybody. Yeah. That having the equivalent of the Securities and Exchange Commission overseeing professional sports to ensure proper integrity and demand a, appropriate officiating. I've just been saying that's not good for anybody. We don't. But you know what? You know what? I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think. I might need it. Maybe that's the only way to fix this. Maybe, maybe we need Congress to create an agency that will force the NFL to do the things it refuses to realize that it needs to do on its own. Yeah, well, I think that goes back to like what we've talked about a little bit before. Just what, you know, this seems like they penny pinch. Um, they're, about, cheap. they're cheap. They're cheap. They're cheap. They are. Go ahead and complain. I don't care. Yeah. You're cheap. Right. You, NFL, are cheap. 
because Mike Pereira should be working for you. Dean Blandino should be working for you. Gene Steratore should. All these guys on TV, Terry McCauley, John Perry, all these guys who get it and know how to explain it should be part of the structure aimed yep. at getting it right, right, not part of the structure aimed at helping people understand when they get it wrong. Right, right. Or, you know, yeah, you're right. I mean, and, and, and again, like, not in the job anymore for for – you know, for the most part with those guys, you said, because they don't pay enough money. I mean, period. How How is that possible? Like, wow, you're great at your job. You're great at your job. And now, you know, you're so great at we should pay you more. But, man, a TV company is going to pay you more, even though you're doing great for our league. No, no, no. It's just it's the arrogance. It is. We'll, we'll it find is. somebody to do it as well as you for the money that you don't want to accept. Yes. You don't like it? Get out of here. Right. You and don't like it? Go. We'll, we'll and, find somebody and for else. The other aspect of that, I want to be like, and again, this is no disrespect because I like the guy and I like what he did in the NFL. But when did did Perry Fuel ever officiate a football game? No, no, he was an assistant coach. No crap. I know. That's where I just go. Look how silly that looks. It's just silly. It's stupid. And I don't mean to say that to be personal to Perry Fuel. I really like the guy. I understand he knows football. But this is not his area of expertise. This is not. And yet we're going to listen and just take his word for it here with that? Like, that, that, that doesn't have the greatest look to me either. Dean Blandino told me on PFTPM a few years back after he left the NFL for Fox, and he, he, he put it as tactfully as he could. And we've said this before, but it merits mentioning it again. They don't value the position of senior VP of officiating. They don't value it. That is just a half click below when Elaine told George he's extremely careful with money. They don't value the position. They're cheap. This is a critical position that is currently abdicated, frankly, even with our video yesterday. I think it confirms there's no one there. There's no one home. There's no one in a position to have a real conversation with us, with ESPN, with Fox, with anyone. There should be someone who is put out there to explain why these decisions were made, why the mistakes were made, how the mistakes were made, where the mistakes were made. And that's how Blandino and Pereira did it. There was no Baghdad Bob from them. Very rarely did it feel like they were being company men. Very, very rarely. I remember when we launched PFT Live on radio, it was a noon to three thing initially. We had Dean Blandino on like every, after every round of the playoffs because there was some controversial thing. I remember in that Lions-Cowboys game, there was one play that had both illegal contact with the receiver and interference with the receiver. And, and he admitted that, it, that they missed it. Why, what, what, what purpose does it serve to mislead your audience yeah. about what we all saw? Right. I just don't get it, Chris. I don't either, Mike. I don't get Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.